it wasn't our intention to uh, create a bed and breakfast when we first purchased the house. Anyone who wants to get into the bed and breakfast business cannot consider it as a nine to five job. We've never really thought of it as a business. And when we first opened, we forgot to charge the people. We liked older homes. And my wife discovered this with a friend uh, in pretty wretched condition. We have actual pictures of the lady who was or had arranged to build the house in or around 1890. And her son who lived here, James Umstead Jr., uh, was cousin to the governor at the time. I had an antique shop in Carborough called Dolly's Place. Oh, look, here's Dolly's Place. Let's stop in and have a look around. Hi, welcome to Dolly's Place. And uh, we had guests that were, uh, I guess, browsers that became customers and that would stay quite a while. They would sit in the rocking chair. They would be hungry while they were there. We'd have to go to the store and get some food, you know, to share with them. And we had a teapot in the back and we'd serve tea. And uh, jokingly to Frank, I said, um, if we had beds, I'm sure we could keep them overnight, you know. So it would be a natural thing to what we were already doing, natural extension, to have the bed and breakfast. Because we're already entertaining in the store all the time. We've had artists here. Uh, we've had writers. Uh, we've had professors. Well, we've had celebrities, too. Uh, we had Ashley Judd when she was filming Kiss the Girls. And we got to meet Morgan Freeman. We've had Stedman Graham. Oprah's boyfriend. I'm a collector, you know, collectors are really bad. And, but when I go uh, to find any object that I want to add to the house collection, the object speaks to me as I take it from room to room to decide where it's going to be, where it's going to live. Sometimes I think inanimate objects really are not totally without energy because once something settles in, it seems very happy there. And so if it's moved, you feel like a difference in the energy of the room. It's a story. The year was 1968. There was a restaurant called the Copper Kitchen. I ordered dinner, and then I didn't have anything to read with me. So I asked the waitress if she knew if there was a newspaper. I hear a lady's voice ask if there was a newspaper around. And uh, before the waitress could answer, uh, this young man said, oh, I have a paper. I know where the paper is or something like that. And he brought the paper to my table. Probably the best newspaper I ever bought in my life. He said, well, may I join you? And then we saw each other every day and we were married within a year of that date. Uh, Frank is easygoing and uh, wonderful in that he's flexible and adaptable. So he's a good partner. Dolly helps in the setups, and she loves picking flowers from our gardens and making them attractive for our guests here. This is a piece that uh, hangs in the Tiffany room, uh, which is on the east side of the house on the second floor. But I loved it mainly for the philosophy. It says, give to the world the best you have, and the best will come back to you. It's just one of the little things that makes the inn what it is. Ton tons of uh, memories of each little expedition. <laughs>